Tell her, tell her. And her milkshake bring all the boys to the yard. Put that thing in the jar. I heard that she real down the mall. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to be showing you all how to draw from reference. Um, use some figure drawings. I'm getting these figure drawings from Line of Action. You want to go ahead and click on figure drawings and then scroll down click on decent models only i mean you can draw nude if you want to um but we on youtube and i can't do that right now so i'm not gonna do that and then you can just set it for whatever time you want it to i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in um once it loads up and it loads clearly you can just go ahead and find whatever picture you want um i ain't feeling this one like that this one is pretty cool but we ain't got a lot of time, so I don't want to do that one. So I'm just going to scroll through until I find one that tickles my fancy. Um, yeah, but whenever you do find one, just examine it. Um, study it before you actually put anything down on paper. Just notice um, all the details in it. And, you know, you don't have to go by every single detail that's in the picture, but just make sure that you notice small things that actually make the oh i like this one i think i'm gonna go with this one so like i was saying just study it and make sure that you find the shapes and all of that stuff like notice all the details the way that it's posed the way that um it's positioned like you just want to make sure that you notice um the small details of anatomy with the figure drawings that you're doing um i decided to just go ahead and quickly sketch this one out a uh, very very rough sketch at first um i was trying to figure out exactly how i wanted to, it to look i didn't know if i wanted to have it to be a two piece have it be a one piece a onesie um just i i didn't know if i wanted to exactly make it look like how it looks as the reference just because like it's a reference it's not supposed to be the final well, outcome of getting your her piece the mask, i decided so, to draw her face you know you um, interpret it however you also want also decided to give her lace ears i believe with this sketch as well um makeup and details like all of the jazz for this um sketch also instead of having her hair like tucked away like how it was in the reference i decided to go ahead and give her very long curly hair I decided to go ahead and give her like a leotard instead of like a onesie or instead of like um, a top and bottom like how it was in the reference as well. I just saw that the leotard kind of looked a little bit better and I gave her a bunny tail, you know, really bushy and I decided to make it like um, a sweater, a sweater type material as well. And I gave her fluffy fur boots. Um, I tried to follow the reference with like how the feet were positioned and stuff like that. But you know, to each his own, you just make it however you want it to. Just use the reference as more so of a guideline. I also gave her lace ears and earrings to finish her off. And basically that was a sketch. And then I went ahead and jumped right into inking her. Um, it, you know, it wasn't that hard to ink, you know, just follow the exact same lines and stuff that you made or you know make your own as you interpret your own sketch so that's the fun part about using references you can go ahead and make it however you want it to be as long as you're following the same guidelines that were there in the original sketch like you just take that inspiration and make it your own i went in with some watercolor just to give this piece a little bit more life um just to give it you know some just something because it was kind of boring just black and white um at first but then after i started to add the watercolor i decided that i really liked it better black and white and i wish that i would have just left it alone or at least took a picture of just a sketch before i added things to it um i decided to make her face a little bit tinier and stuff with this drawing and i kind of regret that because like her eyes are kind of buggy and they just overtake the picture I probably should have just left it, you know, kind of squinted or something. I don't know. But I really like the piece better off how it was. 
But, you know, you live and you learn. I decided to just show you guys the mistake that I made by adding the color and all of that stuff. Like, the the color palette was beautiful, but I just didn't like the, the whole way that it just came out to me. I don't know. So where I should have stopped is not adding a background and if I did add a background leave it just as simple as possible like it was fine when it started off with just a watercolor background and just a splash of white but then I started to go in with a little bit of gouache and glitter and just you know when you just need to stop trying to do stuff but you keep on doing it anyway but you don't learn your lesson that's me but yeah, here's the finished piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Love you. Bye.